Today we're gonna transform the moon into a heart. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find me on Instagram and the link in front of you. We'll start off today by creating a new document, making it 2000 by 2600 and resolution of 150. Okay, we'll drag our first photo, which is this one. I'll stretch it out to make it fit the canvas. Okay, then we'll start by dragging the next photo, which is the bridge. Uh, I'm, I need to cut this one, but I'm going to go fast forward so we do not waste time. Okay, now I'm gonna press right click, make selection, make a feather of 0.5 radius, then I'm gonna mask this, I'm gonna move it to my first canvas, press Ctrl and T, hold Alt and Shift, and resize it, I'll increase by holding Ctrl and Alt and Shift, and pulling this one up to adjust the perspective a little bit, so we'll make it a little bit smaller. Maybe raise this up by pressing, holding Control and Shift and moving it. Yes, something like that. Okay. Uh, now I want to erase this part. I'll take a black, black brush, make sure it's 100% opacity and hard. And I'll remove this part. Okay. Maybe this one also. Okay, now we need to match this. With the background behind so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a hue and saturation layer bring the saturation make it make sure it's linked first so it only affects this layer bring down the saturation a little bit and push it to blue uh, no it's not working like that i'll make it only i'll use only the yellows and bring it down and push it to blues Okay, now I'm gonna go to Curves Adjustment, uh, link it below, and I'll just reduce the brightness a lot of it. Then I'm gonna add a brightness and contrast layer, make sure it's linked below also, and then I'm gonna like darken it up a lot. Yeah, something like that. And on this mask, I'm gonna paint with black, just on the edges, make sure it's a soft brush, and just very softly on the edges, Restore some of the brightness because the edges should be brighter. Yes, something like that. Okay. And then I need to color it to match the color behind. The behind is more like bluish, so I'm gonna add a color balance layer. Link it below. Add some blue. A little bit of cyan, maybe. Go to highlights, add a very little bit of blue and a very little bit of cyan. Okay, now it's looking pretty good. Maybe it needs to make it a little bit darker. On the curves. Okay, now it's, if you look here, you'll see it's like, it's matching. Okay. So, now I want to create the reflection for this thing. This thing need a reflection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt and make two copies below of it. Make sure I'm applying layer mask. 
apply layer mask now I'm gonna hold stand on the first one press ctrl T flip vertical and put it like that uh, yeah that's it I don't think we need the other one okay and this one I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer link it below and then I'm gonna very strongly reduce the brightness and I'm gonna add it as multiply and then lower maybe the opacity a little bit but I don't like the greens in it so I'm gonna take all these layers by holding shift and copying them on top of it but then I'll remove the brightness and contrast and the curves so only the color balance balancing will be there so it doesn't look so green it looks matching with it okay now since we created our reflection we can merge these together and then we can go to you see here the stars they are a little bit like have motion blur up and down so we're gonna go to filter blur add motion blur up and down like a very subtle one okay something like that okay that's good now we will add our model all the photos by the way are available in the description below uh, again I'm gonna cut this model and I'm gonna speed forward so we don't waste time Okay, now I'm done with cutting the model. Let's blend it with the environment. Okay, first we're gonna place it. I need to put her... To put her exactly in the middle, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull a ruler. If you can't find this, press Ctrl and R. And pull it, it will automatically snap at the middle of the canvas. So I know exactly where to put her if I want her in the middle. I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, make her bit smaller yeah something like that I want to flip her okay that's good then to get rid of this just click on it and move it out of the canvas. okay now we need uh, she's so bright compared to the environment so I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer and make sure I'll bring it this down a lot, the highlights. And maybe I'll use a brush and just bring back a little bit of the brightness. Just some little on the front of her because that's where the moon will be. That's where our source of light will be. Something like very set. Okay, then I'll add a new color balance layer. Add a little bit of blue, just a little bit, and a little bit of cyan, just so she blends with the environment. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand on the layer below the model and add a new layer. Then go with a black brush and make just a, a dot. Okay, we need to move her. Wait. Because her leg looks like she's flying. Yeah, we need to move her here. Okay, now we're going to take that black layer, press Ctrl and T. And squish it down. Now we're gonna press Ctrl and distort it down. Increase the size a little bit. Hold Alt and copy it. And put it on the other leg. And also make sure. Now I'm pressing Ctrl and Shift and pulling this. I'll merge these two layers together and use the eraser here. 
soft one to make to, to raise those parts so now it looks like her legs are dropping shadow so it's more realistic okay now these are our model and this is the bridge this one is the bridge reflection okay now we need to add the moon i'm gonna add the moon and just add any like shape of heart you have the shape of heart uh, just delete the white put it we'll just need it as a reference so it doesn't ma matter what shape of heart i don't like this one we'll just use its outline then i'll add the moon make sure the moon is a little bit bigger than the heart yeah something like that is good now i'm gonna hold control and click on the heart it will make selection of the heart then on the moon layer i'm gonna press add layer mask and i don't need the heart now anymore okay i can always close this link and stand on the original layer and just play around with the moon like i want maybe i'll put it in the middle make it a little bit smaller okay that looks good and i'm gonna rasterize it and then i'm gonna press double click and add an outer glow what outer glow does it adds a little bit of glow around the moon increase the size a little bit maybe a little bit of opacity and make the range 100 percent okay make sure the moon is on screen mood so it looks more realistic okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a layer on top of the moon this is very important okay i'm gonna press alt and link it to the moon and then i'm gonna use the rectangle marquee and then i'm gonna draw any rectangle around the moon press shift and f5 it will open the fill layer i'm gonna choose the 50 percent gray and go okay and then i'm gonna put it on overlay mode now it has absolutely no effect but what we can do with this is that we can dodge and burn without changing the original layer leaving it as it is okay so i'm gonna go first by dodging i'll dodge some like i need to make it look more of 3d not flat so i'm gonna add some light maybe here and then i'm gonna go with the burn tool the mid tones and then i'm gonna make it darker from the edges so it looks like it's like 3d not just a flat object Is the exposure a little bit and if you can't dodge anymore using the mid-tones then you move to the shadows but make sure it's not so strong because it can go out of control okay then a little bit uh, no I don't want that I'll brighten that area even more Okay, now it looks more 3D. If you look at the before and after, it looks a little bit more 3D. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to do our final. That's this is we can control and G to group them and we call this our moon. Okay, our final adjustments, we will add a curves layer on top of everything. And then we'll make it a little bit shadows darker, highlights brighter. And raise our black points a little bit okay i'll add another layer maybe on top of the moon itself make using white color maybe low opacity i want this moon to like have a bigger glow than this so i'm gonna paint white around it maybe like this another one here okay and i'm gonna like reduce the opacity make it on screen mode and just bring the opacity down Okay, that's better. I'll add maybe another layer of light. Something like this. I'll put this one onto soft light. And reduce the opacity very strong. Okay, that's good. And then after this curves layer, I'm gonna color grade, use gradient map. I'm gonna use this preset. But I'm going to change the blue by pressing double click on it. And I'm going to make it more magenta. 
and a little bit darker. I'm gonna press OK. Of course, it looks horrible, but we're gonna change it to overlay mode and we'll bring the opacity something like 20%. Look at the before and after, it added a lot of colors to our photo. I want the, this area like to be more orange, so I'm gonna add some orange color to it. I'm gonna add some orange here. And there, I'll put it to overlay mode. Maybe some yellow here. And maybe some red so it looks like it's gradient or reduce the opacity. Something like that. And here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring the opacity like a lot down. So it just adds a little bit of color to the photo. Okay, now I'm gonna add my vignette. I'm gonna go to curves, bring everything darker, and then using a black brush, I'm gonna erase the parts which I do not want to be dark. So I'm gonna erase at the middle where my light source is coming. Okay, and I'm gonna do one thing because the moon is too bright and the, like the lady is too dark So I'm gonna add a curves adjustment and make it like a lot brighter And I'm gonna press Control and I to invert it now nothing is happening Then when I choose white and start painting it will start brightening wherever I paint So I'm gonna brighten this part a little bit. You see? Okay, let's brighten the middle a bit Okay, that's good. Okay, those are, if we group them, or we can call them color grading. If we close, you see that's the before color grading and after color grading. One thing I just want to make sure, oh, it's not an exactly in the middle, so I'm going to move the moon a little bit. Oh, wait, I have to close the link between the two layers. Then I'm going to move the moon a little bit. And also I'm going to move the model, but we couldn't move the model because of her legs. So I'm going to flip her horizontal and maybe just put her here. Okay. And then I'm going to remove this. One. Okay. That's good. I'm going to stand on the top layer now, press control, shift, alt, hold them, then press E. Then I'm going to go to filter. Camera raw filter. I'll increase the clarity a little bit. I guess it will help in this one because it will make the stars like look much contrasty. Uh, maybe I'll go to the FX module, dehaze, increase a little bit dehaze, add a little bit of vignette. And then I'll go to the camera calibration. I always go here and just play around to see the colors. What differences could it make? Okay, that's more like reddish and cyan. If we increase this one, it will increase the red. Like this is more blue. This makes it like more orange. And here is more like pink. I'll go with some orange. Okay. Now I'll press OK. I'll press Control Z. Z to see the before and after the camera row filter. That's after the camera row filter. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them below.